thanks for returning to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about lighting. Before I get started, I'm going to ask you to please like and subscribe to my channel so that you can see my other reviews as well. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So guys, before I get started on talking about this lighting, I just want to say that I am not a uh, an expert in lighting. I'm very much of a beginner. I decided to buy this um, lighting set as part of my uh, vlogging investment. My room, especially this one, doesn't even have a ceiling light. I have a couple of lamps in this room, so I thought that getting some lighting would be beneficial. Before I bought the lighting, I decided to do some research and I looked at a Walmart, I looked at Amazon, uh, eBay, just looked around at different places and I finally decided to buy this particular set here. This particular one is made by Limo Studio. It's the LMS 103. Stay tuned till the end guys because I will have pictures showing you natural light only and then also with this lighting kit so that um, you can see how much of a difference lighting makes. I bought this one at Walmart but you can find this at Amazon as well. So I ordered it online and here's the box that it came in. It was very nicely packaged. Everything was very secure. It comes with four umbrellas. There's two of these uh, black with the silver lining and here's the other one right here. I haven't uh, used both of them yet. I've only used one because it only comes with the three stands. So and then it comes with the two white umbrellas. Uh, they're 33 inches wide and like I said they come with um, three of these stands. Two of these are the taller stands and uh, one stand is um, uh, shorter, about half that size. And I will have a link below uh, to the seller site so that you can see the full description uh, for this kit. I'm still trying to figure out how best to use this lighting because like I said, I am new to uh, vlogging. I've uh, realized that the best way to do this is really just to set it and then uh, turn on the camera and then make a few adjustments to see where uh, the lighting uh, is best uh, reflecting on me, whether that's in front of me or or behind me. These two white umbrellas are my go-to umbrellas. Um, the way to use this is, is just like this, uh, you know, towards me. This, turn this around towards me. And I have my camera sitting here. This silver one, I have it turned the other direction. So the umbrella is away from me, not towards me. So um, if I do it like this, it makes things dark. So I have it turned this way so that when the light is turned on, then the light comes back uh, the umbrella stops it from going out and the light comes back and reflects back on me. So, um, but like I said, these two white ones are my go-to. Uh, they're basically on either side of my camera, one on the left side, one on the right hand side. And um, this one, I usually have it either on the side towards the back or um, behind me. Um, so like I said, you just have to make some adjustments to see, you know, where it looks best, uh, depending on what you're doing, where you are. Uh, right now, my only source of lighting is the window that's ahead of me. I have no lights on right now. I will turn these lights on so that you can see um, the difference that it does make. Okay, one thing that before I turn the lights on um, is that these umbrellas here, in order to get the most effect for the lighting, you have to have the umbrellas sitting uh, far back this way. If you pull it towards the uh, light here, which by the way, these lights do come with the, um, the set, if you bring it towards you this way here, it becomes more focused and so more kind of like a spotlight type of thing. Um, so I, I feel like you don't get as much lighting as if you were to pull it back so that it lights up the entire 
umbrella. These umbrellas are 33 inches wide, by the way. So the only thing when I do have it pushed all the way back so that the entire umbrella is lit is that um, it feels a little top heavy. And so I feel like if a big gust of wind blows or if the kids are nearby and they come running around the corner, um, that this might just tip over. So that is a, a concern of mine. Otherwise, I, I feel like the base is pretty sturdy. I mean, um, it's a sturdy base. Um, just when this thing is extended um, fully out, that, that's my only concern there. So just be careful of that. But now I'm going to make a couple of adjustments and turn on these lights so you can see what they look like. Okay guys, my lighting is on and here's why I did not have my lighting on uh, beforehand because as you can see, my lights are to uh, my side and behind me and so it's not reflecting very well at me and so you can see how dark this looks. So um, one thing that I would invest in if you do get these lighting is get a couple of extra extension cords because the cords are not very long and right now I even though I am using using an extension cord it's not very long so I really have to stay somewhere close to my outlet um, in order to turn these lights on but I feel like if you have a long extension cord that that's not going to be a problem the best way to light um, yourself is actually to have these lights behind the camera right now they're in front of the camera and that's why it looks so dark like it's not working very well right so i just wanted to show you that before showing you how best to to light yourself okay guys so here's what not to do with the lighting because as you can see they're to the side and behind me and the lights are not reflecting very well uh, on me and it looks dark right so i'm going to make a couple of adjustments now and show you what it will look like when the lights are behind the camera i've made those adjustments and so here's the difference so you're really not seeing any of my lighting because they're here to my my left right and to the side of me as you can see it doesn't make a difference I did have to play around with it a little bit just to see you know where um, the lighting would look best and how it would best reflect on me so I'm gonna play with this one that smaller one here a little bit just so you can see the difference um, so if I turn it can you you can see how much of a difference that makes in terms of lighting it's just one of those things that you have to play around with make some adjustments and then um, see you know what looks best on you like i said i am not an expert these are just things that i am figuring out as i experiment with my kit um, now what i will tell you is that it comes with a very nice carrying case it allows you to pack all of this up and fit it into this bag this very small bag right here um, very easy to carry all of these fold down into and, and all of these including this fourth um, umbrella here four umbrellas the three light stands can all pack into this small backpack if you wanted to um, take with you for a photo shoot. Also, it comes with this bag. So this bag here is for your light uh, to, to case your light. What I did is these styrofoams came in the box that it was shipped in. And so I decided to keep these just in case I wanted to. I could just unscrew it, put it in here, and this way it's nice and secure. I put it in my bag. This bag allows you to take all three of the lighting that it comes with. I think that this is a nice lighting set for a beginner just like myself, who's just trying to figure things out and and play with it a little bit i will say that this is not the best um, lighting set for an expert if you are at the next level i would recommend that you get um, 
like this lighting here this one only holds one light so they make these that hold four lights my next investment will be one with four lights so that I can get some extra lighting so guys um, that's my review of this my only dislike about this so when this came there are two spots here that are torn so there's that spot there and that spot there that's torn i tried to contact customer service um, to see if um, what they would do with that because it came in like that and it's been um, at least a week and they have not responded yet so i'm still hoping that somebody will reach out to me and um just contact me, you know, because I did reach out to them and I feel like they should at the very least um, earn my email. I really hope that that happens fairly soon. Like I said, it's been a week and I haven't heard anything yet. So I'm a little bit disappointed about that. Otherwise, I really love this set. Again, like as a beginner, this works just fine. I only paid roughly uh, $55 for this. So I didn't, I feel like I didn't spend that much. I mean, $55 is a lot of money, but I feel like um, it's really worth um, the investment on these. So guys i hope that you enjoyed my review and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you can see my other reviews as well i will also have a link down below for the tripod that i am using which i absolutely love because it does have a bluetooth remote and um, i can uh, turn on and off um, using the remote whether i'm taking pictures or uh, for video so remember to check that out as well. Um, all right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thanks.